Hello, welcome to Igula Yopuna and Brothers on TV. Today, I want to share an end time message that the Lord gave to me. It is about the end time. It's my prayer that these words will bring illumination to your life. May the Lord use these words of revelation to stir up revival in you. In Jesus' name, Amen. This is a message that I got from the Lord on the 19th of June, 2024. The title of this message is Prepare Ye the Way of the Antichrist. Before Jesus Christ came into this world, John the Baptist came as a forerunner and prepared the way of the Lord. As it was prophesied, before the Antichrist will be revealed, the men of sin, his way is definitely going to be prepared. Preparations are ongoing already. The only problem is that mankind is unaware because of deception. Before I deliver this message, I want us to read 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 3 and 4. Let no man deceive you by any reason. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and asserted himself above all that is called God, all that is worshipped, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God, the son of perdition, the man of sin, will be revealed but before he is revealed there will be a falling away first a falling away departure from the truth not just biblical truth but truth that have been preserved by nature people are going to denounce the truth they will fall away and depart and it is going to be of the majority not a few there shall be a falling away first. This revelation is about the preparation of the way for the Antichrist to appear. The man of sin is not just going to appear on earth when everybody is doing right. The man of sin wants to infiltrate the systems of this world and prepare the ground for his revelation so that when he comes, he will be able to deceive the people. There has to be some preparation, some absorptions of his systems. For instance, we are switching from cash. This is globally, all over the world, switching from cash to central bank digital currency, CBDC, all over the world. So that when he is revealed, the financial system of the Antichrist is already in place where you cannot buy or sell. If you don't agree, it's just a matter of burden. A burden can switch off your card, turn off everything, and you will not be able to buy or sell. In Nigeria, there is what is called BVN, Bank Verification Number. You cannot open any bank account except you have a bank verification number so if they want to know how many bank accounts you have how much you have just with your bvn everything will appear your bvn is tied to your phone number is tied to your national id everything if they want to freeze all your accounts it's very possible it's just a matter of pressing a body the system, the financial system is already in place. It is being developed. It is in progress already. So don't think that one day someone is just going to appear and announce a very new system. It's not going to be a new system. It is what is already in progress. So it's going to come into an existing system and hijack it. Let's go to the message that the Lord gave to me on the 19th of June, 2024. 
For there shall be a time that Lucifer shall entice the children of men to involve themselves in committing abominable iniquities to provoke the God of heaven and earth to anger. These sins involve the killings, sacrifice, and human consumption of innocent souls. Then he said to me, Hosanna, there is nothing about earth man that is more sacred than an innocent baby in the womb of its mother. This the devil has devised several means to sacrifice to make mockery of my creation. The sacrifice and human consumption of fetuses have increased. This is to pollute the earth enough for the appearance of some categories of wicked fallen angels into the world. The more wickedness man practices, the more grip and control Satan has over man and the planet man dwells. Three days shall be like three hours. This is the speed of the revelation of the man of sin. He shall no longer be delayed, for his time is nearer than people think. He is gradually soaking the different systems of the world in evil. Remember my word. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Psalm 11 verse 3. He is corrupting the systems of this world so that they can run on iniquity. What the Lord revealed to me here is that Satan is polluting this earth. We know that Satan derives pleasure from everything that offends God. If anything is annoying to God, that is what he does. He knows he has lost it once and for all. He knows he has been doomed. He has been condemned. So what he's doing is that he is instigating mankind to commit abominable iniquities against God. He wants to pollute the earth enough. Remember what Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24 that because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was good. One of the signs of the end time is the increase of sins, of iniquity. I remember a place I lived early 2000. I was there around 1998 to 2006 before I left the village. At the beginning, when I got there, we, we didn't have doors in our houses. It was a village. Now things have changed. When we got there, people were not stealing. The changes within 10 years is so sudden that people now have doors over there. Stealing, different kind of crimes started happening. The rate at which sin is increasing is alarming. This is one of the signs of the end time. That evil is even portrayed in our society as something that is good. In those days, people used to hide fornication. Today, even under eight children are kissing on Facebook, on Instagram. You see, children giving birth to children, they have no shame displaying them. It is their pride. And they get a lot of followers. It used to be a thing of shame, even among adults, to get pregnant outside wedlock. Today, these things are being celebrated widely. People mocked me for not having a girlfriend. People used to mock me. This is the kind of society we are living in. Even men of God mocked me. This is the kind of world we are living in. Today, if you are a virgin, the world wants you to be ashamed. Today, if you don't steal, the world wants you to be ashamed. Imagine, I, I feel sick when I see how scammers are being celebrated in churches, in our society.
Today is no longer a thing of shame. I was telling a girl, a young girl, I asked her, what is your boyfriend doing? She's telling me that there's this guy who wants to get married to her. I said, what is he doing? She said, he is a Yahoo boy. He's a scammer. I said, don't say he is a Yahoo boy. He's a thief. I asked her, can you marry a thief? Someone who breaks into people's houses and carry their TV, their properties. She said, no, she can't do it. I said, what's the difference? This is someone breaking into people's accounts and stealing their hard-earned money. So you can marry an internet thief, but you cannot marry a thief who break into people's houses. These things, our society has gone crazy. Sin has so much increased. People celebrate evil. Good has become bad. Bad has become good. This is the world we are living in. But remember, we did not just get here overnight. No, it was a gradual process. It is through satanic infiltration. Look at the things our children are being taught in schools. Today, you can even express yourself very well. If you want to express yourself and speak the truth, your videos could be taken down. You could be banned because Satan has infiltrated almost all the systems. Why am I saying almost? All the systems of the world. Mention one, one system that Satan has infiltrated. Is it religion? Is it Christianity? Satan is there. He runs many of these churches, many Bible schools. Satan runs them. But I know God will always have his elect. So let us know that the times we are living in, these are the times of preparation for the revelation of the men of sin. Let's continue. He said, men shall no longer be enticed to do evil because the land shall be so corrupt that men shall encourage one another to swim in the filth of their evil ways. Those who rebuke evil shall be victimized. Those who speak against the corruption in the world shall become enemies to these people. The whole land is polluted. The innocence of the unborn is being sacrificed to continue to pollute the world. Then he said to me, warn all those who support the sacrifice of these innocent souls. They have no place in the kingdom of God. Even if they do not kill, that means even if they do not kill physically, even if they do not kill, they are like murderers in my sight. They do not belong to my kingdom. There are those who are advocating for unrestricted forms of abortion. As a matter of fact, there are laws that are being passed that up to nine months of pregnancy, if anyone chooses to eliminate the child, then is their right. This is sick. This is sick. It's just a matter of time. It will be generally accepted because the more sin increases, the more people welcome evil. When evil becomes normal practice, then there will be no form of restriction. Look at the way people go naked today. Isn't it sickening? Even in our churches, many of our churches, I hear a lot of brothers complaining to me that they feel so disappointed when they go to churches. That when they go to church, some churches, I'm not saying all churches, there are genuine churches that still practice the truth, even though they don't have a lot of followers. They tell me that when they go to church, the problem of lust they are having increase. That they are struggling with lust. And when they go to church, look at the level of sensual dances in many of our churches. It's horrible. And because they see demonically inspired miracles and some of these staged miracles, they feel God is dead. God is not the God of sexual immorality. 
I don't care about multitude. I care about the truth. God is not a God that is concerned about multitude. Jesus Christ said, wherever two or three are gathered, in his name, two or three, not multitude. If you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, if you support abortion, the killing of children, know that you have crossed the line. You may not be committing a sin, but the Lord says you are seen by him as a murderer because you are supporting evil. Life doesn't start at birth. Life starts at fertilization. Life starts the moment the egg is fertilized. That is the beginning of life. Even if there is a miscarriage for any reason at all, the soul goes back to God. That is the truth. It is not the body that is the real human being. This is the house. That is why when a human being dies, they say, we want to lay the remains. Is a remain. The remainder, what remains, is what they let to rest. The real human being is gone. Then dust, we go to dust. That is the truth. So those of you who have been brainwashed, some of you don't know that these children are used for sacrifice. I want you to research Bohemian Grove, Bohemian Grove, where Molech is still existing, where they offer child sacrifices. I'm not, I've not been there. I'm talking about the videos, people who have sneaked in there, people who have done researches, so don't quote me. The videos are all over YouTube. In fact, there was this guy who sneaked in there to record Bohemian Groove. I think there are two uh, existing in the world. There are two locations, Bohemian Groove. He sneaked into one of them, recorded videos, even where you have the owl, the big owl, where they offer the sacrifice. I went back again a few days later. YouTube took the video down. The people reported the video and they took the video down. It's a secret society. Sacrifices still go on till today. Once again, I said, I have not been there. Don't quote me. I saw these videos on YouTube. I saw write-ups. Uh, the first video I saw was Alex Jones, who infiltrated them during a live service in the night. He infiltrated them with hidden cameras and recorded this thing and broke the news out. This is where many presidents gather, prime ministers, different kind of people, diplomats, all over the world, they gather there and offer sacrifices. I mean, some of your leaders, they gather there. So some of you are being used. Some of these laws are actually satanic in nature. They are satanic. Let me ask you a question. How could a normal human being advocate for pedophilia? Adults having kind of knowledge of children. This is satanism. Lavian satanism allows people to do whatsoever thing they want. It is shameful that some of these lawmakers could even discuss these things. If that is your sexuality, then you need treatment. And some we are even passing a law that, okay, uh, maybe they should produce some robots that have the size of children so that those who are driven towards uh, making love to children can patronize them. This is the kind of world we are living in. Those who do this are supposed to rot in jail. But we live in a world where these things have become socially acceptable. Satanism is growing. Let us know that Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was cold. Iniquity is abounding 
before our very eyes. Let's continue. Then I heard a voice that announced, Prepare ye the way of the Antichrist. As I looked, I saw seven ladies. They wore black suits and a black inner dress, but with a red neckties around their necks. Black suits, black inner dress with a red necktie, signifying blood. The red necktie signifying blood and death. The voice that spoke to me said, these are those who have been sent to prepare the way of the Antichrist. Meanwhile, let me make this clear. The fact that I saw seven females, does it actually mean these are human females, humans? It could mean another thing, but I'm just telling you the thing I saw and the meaning I was given. If something wasn't interpreted to me, I don't need to say this is what it's mean. it means. I don't need to force any meaning into anything I saw. These are those who have been sent to prepare the way of the Antichrist. They have three missions on earth. Number one, advocate for the rights of women. In course of doing that, they push for the right of women to freely submit the souls of their unborn. This is the agenda. It is for the sacrifice of innocent children through abortion. Number two, they increase the activities of sexual immorality, especially among young people. This is to increase the rate of unwanted pregnancy. Number three, they are highly involved in different researches and technologies on how to use aborted children in the best way possible. This is deception. They deceive people to sacrifice their innocent unborn children. These are not necessarily for technological use, but rather they are for the purpose of sacrificing enough innocent souls to pollute the land enough and make it fit for the revelation of the Antichrist. Then he said to me, let all those who have taken part in this sacrifice repent and ask the merciful God for forgiveness and they shall be forgiven. Then I heard a voice that said, the land is polluted. It is filled with the blood of the innocent. They have killed those who did not provoke them. They have splashed their innocent blood upon the walls of the streets of the nations. Who shall clean off these abominations? The earth groans because of the evils that are being committed in it day and night. Humans have been led astray to think that they have been granted freedom. They do not understand that they are partaking in cementing the soil of the earth with evil in preparation for the revelation of the evil one, the man of sin. Again, I heard another voice that spoke as if he is lamenting. He said, how much humans have corrupted their ways. How could those who call themselves my children feed on the blood of these innocent ones? How can you say you are not guilty when you eat the foods and use the products that contain different ingredients from the bodies of these innocent souls. How many of you have ever drank water from the goddess before? You do well by avoiding drinking from the goddess, but you have eaten from the pot of blood, the blood of these innocent souls that are being sacrificed. I have passed my judgment against you already because you do not care about what is clean and what is unclean in a world of sin. You have made wars to continue because you buy and consume the gains of unceasing wars against these innocent souls that are being slaughtered 
daily in different homes and hospitals. I shall require the blood of every human being from the hands of these murderers and all those who prepare the ground for their death, including those who benefit from the byproducts of these bodies. I have said, Satan shall no longer entice people to do evil, but he shall corrupt the systems of this world so that men can swim in their iniquities. This is his plan. This is a revelation I got from the Lord. Let those who have ears hear. For me to just say a few things. A lot of people are still innocent to believe that every thing in the world is good for us to use as Christians. I know the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all that were therein. I know that very well that nothing belongs to the devil. But Satan knows how to weaken the children of God. Satan knows that this earth operates based on principles. There are laws in this world. So he wants to make the children of God partakers in the evil that is going on in the world by deception. Long before now, I know that products from aborted children, they are there. Many of these bleaching creams, they have different chemicals from aborted children, including some of the foods and drinks that many people consume today. I avoid a number of them. There is a website that used to be online because of public outcry. They hit the website. If you search it today, you will never find the website again. That website, they produce food flavor and different kind of things for companies who produce soda, minerals, soft drinks, and different kind of things, different kind of foods. What do they use? They use aborted fetal cells to do their research. Satan is not in heaven. He is on earth. There was war in heaven. Revelation chapter 12. There was war in heaven. That one, that war with the angels of God in heaven was cast down to the earth. What did the Bible say? Let me read for you. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10 following. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Now listen to verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heaven, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. The devil knows that he has a short time. The Bible says, Woe to you, inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Why? Because the troublemaker had been driven down from heaven to this earth. We are in a battle, battle for your soul. Please don't let anybody distract you. If you must be victorious, you have to also live and caution yourself. It's not everything you eat. I have been raising a lamb. Even before I knew anything called GMO, the Lord has been revealing to me. I'm not a very educated person. I'm not a graduate. I spent most of my life in the village. Uh, when did I start using internet? Many of these things I did not know. <laughs> but the Lord had been revealing to me about food. If you look at my channel, Ego Eye Opener, you see different warnings about food, about GMO, how Satan is using food as a weapon, and he's going to use it. I've been warning people before 2020, we're talking about food, food, 
please remember that what the devil used to deceive Adam and Eve was food. Was food. Food is very important. And they fell. Esau sold his birthright. What was used? Food. Jesus Christ himself was tempted. The first temptation was food. Apart from that too, when Jesus Christ was demonstrating the Last Supper, what did he give to the disciples? Food. He broke the bed and said, this is my body. Food. He also took the cup of the wine. He said, this is the blood of the new covenant. They drank it. Food. Food is very, very important. Let's be careful. Don't support evil. Don't support abortion. I know a lot of people don't care about heaven, but whether you care about it or not, it doesn't change anything. I've made up my mind. I know that this world is corrupt and I'm ready to go anytime it calls me home. This world is too corrupt. There's nothing to enjoy here. Even if you have all the billions in the world, there is no joy in this world because you're going to see people who can't eat food. People who are dying of diseases. The globalists are still going to push hard. They are going to implement some of these laws and they will affect you. We live in the world of sin. Remember, Satan is the God of this world. He is a prince of the dark kingdoms of this world. Let us be careful. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please give your life to Jesus Christ and be focused. Stay away from sin. Get born again and join us, the few that await the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord God Almighty bless this verse in your heart. Please, before you go, kindly share this video with someone. Like and comment. And the Lord God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.